Good morning, early birdies. How are we today? Today we're going to read a book called Why is Nita Upside Down? Why is Nita upside down? Can she turn the right way around? This book is by Emma Herner, Roxana and Sarah Bauer. Now let's get started. Nita's hanging upside down, her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, and everything is all the wrong way around. Her feet, they poke into the sky. Little Navi is walking by. He says, I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for? Her feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to talk, she says to him. I'm not the same. I don't fit in. Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. They climb to Navi's lookout spot. From up here, they can see a lot. They perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there. Look at all the children. Those kids are not the same at all. Abe's round. Cheese freckled. Lala's extra tall. Bam Bam's wild and must run free. While Lulu reads quietly. Look at Freya's crazy hair. And Tim wears glasses everywhere. And me? I'm just skin and bone. And you are you. You're not alone. Each human's sort of strange, you see. That makes you just the same, like me. This world is really one big game. To play, we can't all be the same. Nita feels the right way around, thanks to the new friend she's found. Upside down was never fun. Now she plays with everyone. And that's the end of Why Nita Was Upside Down. If you enjoyed the story of the way she turned the right way around, remember to like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day, early birdies.